Okay, now after demonstrating about um, input stream, I'm going to um, um, demonstrate to you about the output stream. Okay, so this one is output stream demo. Okay, for this output stream, um, for this output stream, what it is, okay, uh, we already explained before, output stream is uh, a stream. Because what is a stream? The stream is the channel from which you're going to read or write data to. And in this case, upper stream, so it's a channel for this you're going to write data out. Okay, and um, write data out to where? What is the data? Data is in sequence of bytes. Bytes. Okay, and write data to where? You may write data to um, system dot out. Let's say your standard output. Okay, or you can write data to a file. Okay. You can write data to a file and you can write data to network. That's why the stream itself is just an abstract class. And if you would like to write data to a file, you're going to use a file output stream. Okay. File output stream. Uh, that's why we're going to create this one output stream con stream content space. Okay. It is coming from Java RL package. OS is an abstract class equal to, in this case, you can write it uh, into new file output stream. If you want to write to the file, you can um, new to uh, byte array output stream. If you want to write to array to byte, you can write to um, system dot um, out. Okay. This one is the um, out stream. Okay. You can write to system. Okay. Or you can write to the network so on so forth. There. Then, um, in this case, we're going to write to new output file output stream. So we're going to write to a file. That's why, and we um, can specify the um, file uh, in form of a file that we would like to write a file descriptor or the the, the um, names, uh, string names of the file, like we explained before. Okay, then I'm gonna I'm gonna explain about the add pen option later. But let's just go through this one I'm gonna use this one so we're going to write to uh, my file dot uh, uh, my file dot that okay it's just dot that or dot data it's not dot txt or dot whatever the reason why is the reason why uh, just dot txt is okay okay dot txt uh, um, so I'm going to write bytes but representing text okay I'm going to write bytes but representing text okay and uh, okay, let's just have a look at this um, output stream. It's an abstract class. What, what, does, uh, what method does it have? It's an abstract class. Why is it an abstract? Already is explained. And what are the methods does it have? Okay, it has a method which is to um, close. Which is after using this pipe, you're going to you're going to need to close it. Okay, then uh, 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 the first I'm going to explain um, at the time of. Um, studying about buffers uh, you have a write you can write one byte now or you can write an array byte or you can write array byte from some upside up to some length okay that one is abstract class um, and uh, now what is a fire output stream the fire output stream is um, a stream specifically that we're going to write to files okay and it's implement those methods too with some extra methods okay with some extra methods so now so now we're going to surround this one with uh, surround statement with try catch because you may specify this uh, file name wrong. Then, then uh, okay, yeah, you're gonna use this one to write bytes. Okay, write data. It's a channel from which your data is going out. So it's, you're going to write one zero one 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 zero one one so on so forth in, 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 into the file here into the file here. And in this case, I would like to use this upper stream to uh, write the first byte, which is um, 97, which is A, actually. This one is A. Or you can specify that one as character A, OK, 97. OK, add, catch, close. And you can write another one, which is write 98, which is for B. And you can use this upper stream to write, which is 99, which is C. A, B, and C. Okay. Um, um, or you can write an array of bytes. Okay, an array of bytes. Let's say you can take OS dot uh, write. You can write an array of bytes. Let's say you can write A, B, no, D, E, F dot get bytes. Okay, dot get bytes. So this D, E, F dot get bytes can be converted into an array of three bytes. First byte is D, second byte is E, or third byte is F, or this one can be represented as an array of bytes of um, 100 bits, 101, and 102. It's an array of bytes like that. Okay. 
Then after finish using this one, you should be uh, uh, you should close it. And um, take from this one. So for this output stream, currently I don't have. You know, it has list of file and I don't have such a file called my file.txt and oh let me just name it new file so it's not going to be confused with the previous one okay so when I run this application it's going to create a new file inside here okay so let me run this application it's um, uh, done and you'll see from here I now have a new file.txt .txt means it's representing your data even though you are writing it in forms of bytes okay but um, it's gonna be um, display or represented in forms of characters. So it's gonna convert uh, 97, 98, 99, therefore a, um, um, ABC. And you have another array, and you have another array from DEF is going to be DEF over here. See? So let's say if you run this one once more, if you run this one once more, it's just still this one, or if you delete this one and you run this one once more. Okay, let me see. Okay, if you run this one once more, let me see this one new far and you'll see it's 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 come back to that one. Okay, and if you run this one, okay, and you come back, you have this one. Okay. If you delete it, okay, and you run this one, it's gonna come back to that one. So anyway, whatever thing, if you modify this one somehow and you run this one again, it's going to Override whatever you have over there. So if you don't write, if you don't like to override uh, draw data each time you you run, okay. So if you already have that file, it's going to by default override that file. That file, okay. If you don't have that file yet, it's going to create and write your data, okay. It's going to create and write your data. So if you don't like to, if you don't like to uh, override your data, but just try to add your data in. This one is another option comes in, which is for appending. Okay, and you can say append equal to true. By the so you can see if you don't say anything, by default append is false. Okay, so if you say append is true, so currently it is says if you run once more, it's going to um, um, continue to write your data. It's not override your old data. So this one. So if you keep keep running, it's going to keep adding. Okay, so that is the uh, that is the um, demonstration about the option true here. Okay, and and this time uh, you're going to use you are using this stream to write every single byte. That's why this one is called a byte stream. It's called a byte stream. Okay, and of course the next time. Uh, so what is not byte stream? Why? Why is this called byte stream? Because it's reading every single byte. Okay. So, what is not byte stream? Okay? We have something uh, different. Let's say uh, data input stream, data in output stream that we're going to demonstrate in next lecture. Okay. Next next video.